Hello everyone, this is Virgil here, and today we're doing something different. I decided to look up into Pokemon and their high damage. Now we have Z moves in this game, and we also have Pokemon with ridiculous high attack, that like Kartana. So I decided to, to look which Pokemon can deal the most damage in one turn. Um, I said one turn because this is very important. I don't mean stuff like, let's say, rollout, building up to the max, or setting up to plus six. You know, all, 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 all that jazz. So, by looking into those Pokemon, I decided to first... Uh, first of all, I'm going to test this against a level 50 Arceus. And also the Pokemon will all be at level 50. So I decided to test this at a level 50 Arceus. Um, or Arceus, I don't know how, which I'm not sure. Because the ability is called RKS system, at this point I'm I'm sure it's probably Arceus, so we'll go with Arceus. I mean Silvala's ability. Anyways, so um, we have we have um, Mega Mewtwo X, Mega Mewtwo Y, they both have the highest attack, but there's no reason to look at Mega Mewtwo Y because it does not have a powerful staff as much as Mega Mewtwo X. Mega Mewtwo X has Focus Punch, so which is like the most powerful staff for it. So Focus Punch from Mega Mewtwo X onto an Arceus, Arceus. Obviously we're gonna change the typing into something that takes the Focus Punch neutrally, no need to make it uh, super effective. So we got 82% to 97, this is an Adamant Max Attack Mega Mewtwo X. I was not impressed, I mean, that's supposedly <laughs> the highest damaging Pokemon in the game, or at least the highest attack stat in the game, and it, it can't even kill an Arceus. That, that, that can't be true. There must be something way more powerful. So what's the problem here? We probably need something like a Z-move, right? We need to nuke Arceus with a Z-move. So Megas are almost out of the picture now. We can't consider Megas because they can't hold a Mega Stone. So the highest physical attacking non-Mega is Kartana with its ridiculous 181 base power attack. So let's calc an Adamant Grass Z-move. Uh, coming from Leaf Blade. According to Serbi, it should be base 175. Uh, so 175 Bloom Doom will do 93 to 109 to uh, Arceus. It's better than Mewtwo. It can get the KO, but um, we need to investigate more. It's still not a guaranteed KO, and actually, that's disappointing. So, and then I started to look into something that can hold an item, just like Kartana, has a good uh, attack stat, but also has a high stab. Now, having a high stab means you can almost get a, like a semi-powerful or semi-Z-move power, but while also holding an item, so dealing more damage. Now we have, like I said, the Oxus attack, and it has a very good stab, uh, which is... Psycho Boost. Now here's the funny thing, Psycho Boost Z move gives you 200 base power and actually putting a choice specs on Deoxys attack will hit harder than uh, Z move Psycho Boost. So we decided to put a choice specs and the choice specs does one, 110 to 130. So the lowest damage that um, this Deoxys can deal is higher than the highest damage that Kartana can deal. Uh, by the way, from now on, I'll use the highest damage to avoid, you know, a lot of numbers. So I'm just gonna say Choice Specs Psycho Boost does 130% at best to our d test dummy Arceus. So, um, and the Psycho Boost Z move does 124 at best. It, it, it's not as, as powerful. So, so knowing that the uh, Choice Items have a potential to hit harder than a Z move, Let's start thinking about damage boosting abilities. So what comes first to mind when you think of damage boosting ability? You could probably think of Reckless. Reckless, the good thing about, I mean, compared to Shield Forest, the good thing about Reckless is Reckless always deals with high damage. Something like 120 uh, moves, something like that. So the strongest Reckless user we have is Mian Chao. Uh, it has the strongest stab out of them all, High Jump Kick. High Jump Kick is actually calculated with Reckless, even though it doesn't have a recoil. And, um, so, yeah, um, let's calculate the Adamant Choice Band High Jump Kick Reckless from Mian Chao. And it does actually 110 at best, so it's better than Kartana, but still can't beat Deoxys Attack. So Deoxys Attack is our champion. Um, 
So let's try one of the most broken abilities, in my opinion, in the game. I call them the eight abilities. You know, uh, the one they turn normal type attacks into certain type and give them an extra little juiced. We obviously need to look for explosion user if we want to go with that because we need um, we need to get the most out of this. You know, it's it's all about a game of stab, same type attack bonus. So uh, we have two that explode with this eight ability. We have a Lolan Golem and Mega Galele. Since they have the same base attack, actually, we'll use a Lolan Golem since it can hold an item. So let's let's calc choice band explosion into our test dummy Arceus. Uh, it does 111%. I really thought it would be the honestly Deoxys attack, but... Oh wait. No, <laughs> never mind. I cocked it against an electric type Arceus. And... Holy crap. That does 111. A resisted hit. Because, you know, explosion turn turns into an electric type from Alolan Golem. Since its ability is called the Galvanize or whatever. So... Let's change it to normal, and it does. Oh my God! It is two hundred and twenty-three percent. Holy shit! What is that damage? Oh my God! Not even a, no one is even close to this. Oh my God! Whoa! Okay, we definitely have our champion here. Do we have to look any further? Um, I don't think so. Uh, I don't. Wait, what, what, what? Wait a minute. We actually do have a contender. We have Kyogre. You know, Kyogre has rain, has water spout, and has the choice pick. So that's a very powerful combo. Uh, and that's a very powerful combo. And, you know, uh, base 150 special attack. That's, that's insane. So I wanted to comment right now. Pause the video. Comment below, is Kyogre going to deal more damage than Golem, or is Golem going to win with his insanely high damage? Alright, one, two, three, hope you wrote your comments. The best damage that Kyogre can do is 182%. What? That's not even close to the monster that is Golem. It's, it's, it hits way too hard than any other thing we've tested, but not even close to Golem. That's insane! <laughs> okay, um... So, if a, if a choice picks Kyogre in the rain with water spouts, can't head down a damage this guy, nothing will. I will not look any further for a higher damage roll. I am surprised, Golem. Good job. Uh, Sophia, bet you're happy. So, uh... But just for fun, I decided to calc which Pokemon deals the most damage. Uh, for its uh, respective typing. So before I, I get into this list guys, I did I, I wrote the whole thing when I was half asleep So I'm pretty sure I missed some numbers. Maybe there's I don't think there's anything that out damages a little golem At least not to my mind. If you want to calc sure go ahead remember one turn One item you can't you know you can't say oh with helping hand It's gonna do this or maybe with that. No, it's just singles one one hit but yeah, so let's look into this list, which I've, you know, I've compiled and decided to see which Pokemon deal the most damage from its typing. I decided to remove the Z-Move for this list because I'm pretty sure Z-Move would infest most of the list. So let's start with the strongest Ghost-type move. The strongest Ghost-type move is actually Shadow Forest coming from Giratina O, doing 83% at best. The strongest Bug-type move is Mega Horn coming from his Cavalier, dealing 89% at best. Imagine with the... With the with its abilities boost, that would be insane if if it was less than if it was at twenty five percent health or something. But I don't want to deal with anything that has health. I'm not going to cut uh, Garbol or or uh, Revenge or whatever. So the strongest Dark type is obviously Hyperspace Fury from Hope Unbound, dealing eighty five percent at best. And the, the strongest steel type, if, like if you want to calculate Gyroball or Gyroball, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but if you want to calculate this one, it's going to be the most powerful coming from Aegislash um, with Choice Band. But we have Choice Specs Jirachi using Doom Desire at 86% at best. And the best normal type is... At first, I was like, oh, obviously, Explosion Licky Licky. We've already seen how powerful Explosion is. And then, nope. I figured, okay, Choice Band slacking uh, with, 
with Giga Impact. And then I was like, nope. Porygon Z using Hyper Beam, dealing 149% at best. This is ridiculous. This is stronger than anything else we've calculated other than the Kyogre and the Golem. And the best fire is Modest Charizard Y using Blast Burn, dealing 124% at best. The best water is our number two, uh, Specs Kyogre using Water Spout, dealing 182% at best. The best electric is obviously our champion Golem, dealing 1 billion percent. And the strongest grass is Tapu Bulu uh, using Wood Hammer in grassy terrain, dealing 132% at best. That's that's ridiculous. Strongest ice is Mega Galilee using refrigerate boosted explosion dealing 149% at best. I bet I bet like Galilee is the strongest ice type by an insane margin. I like I bet the next most powerful ice type is gonna deal something like 50% at, at best. And the best uh fighting is actually normal Medicham dealing 134% with focus punch choice band obviously if we calc if we calc uh, reversal i would think um you know um, normal medicham would do even more damage but I'm, I'm staying away with with moves that require you to be at a lower health the poison one of the weakest types we have dragalgy using sludge wave and dealing 75 percent at, at best and i think this is the lowest yeah poison is the lowest type I could be wrong in this one, I haven't looked into it. Maybe Enid King can do more damage, I'm not sure. Uh, we have Rhyperior. Uh, if it gets like a lucky magnitude, it will deal 115% at best if it's choice band. We have uh, at the flying type, this, this was for the ground type by the way. If we have flying type, we have Dragon Ascent from Mega Requiza, Requiza dealing 112% at best. Psychic, we have Deoxys using Psycho Boost, dealing 130% at best. Rampardos, we have uh, for rock types. It's dealing 130% with Choice Band Hit Smash. I could be wrong in this one. Maybe there's like a Pokemon that can abuse, I don't know, a more powerful move or something. And for the Dragon, we have a tie actually. Between Dialga, Choice Picks using Roar of Time, and Requiza, Choice Picks using Draco. Uh, Mega Requiza, not the normal one. Mega Requiza can hold an item. That's like that's a good thing. Both using uh, specs and dealing 121%. And last but not least, we have Magernia. Magernia using a choice specs Fleur Cannon, dealing 95% at best for Fairy types. So Fairy types not 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 very powerful hitters. They don't have like I think before Fleur Cannon they did not have a single stab that hits base 100 power or more. So yeah. This concludes the list. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and uh, I don't know, click subscribe, like, share this video. Yes, share it please. See you next time.